My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Excel. Today we will see how we can create a progress circle chart in Excel. It's also called a donut chart and you can see it here. It's so, so cool. I mean, you can track all sorts of progress with it. Uh, for example, work project or a private project. I created three donut charts here and what's cool about them is that project A, B and C, if that we update, say that we want to update uh, project A to 85%, it automatically updates down here. So uh, what we need, we need to create one for project D and I left that so you can see how easy it's done. By the way, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about Excel and other cool technical stuff. So let's uh, insert a donut chart. So click insert, go to chart, click the donut here. First we want to mark it and then change the size of it. We want it quadratic. So the height and the weight width should be the same. I made the other ones seven times seven centimeters. So we'll do that here as well. Um, seven times seven, like this. We can drag it a little bit over here. Now we want to add how many increments we got. We got 20 here. So each share is 5%. So right click, then we will click select data, click add. And now the most difficult part of the, this guide come, we will need to add 20 ones here in this curly brackets. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, like this. Then we will click OK. And now you, we are done with all the difficult stuff that was writing these numbers. So we will mark it here, we'll click the plus, then we will change the uh, throw away chart title and legend, like this. Then we go to the donut, we will right click, and then we will take format data series here. We will change the donut hole size to 65%. Then we will click this fill here. We'll choose a solid fill and we can uh, choose the color. We choose every color, but I think orange is very good. So let's stick with that, like this. Then we wanna uh, mark this chart and we want to go to shape fill we want to have a no fill in the shape outline no outline then we want to add whatever data we want to have in so we will uh, right click here and we will select data then we will click add first the series name that's project d like this then the value let's delete everything except the equal sign and the value will be these two cells so uh, then we can click OK and we can click OK once more. We can mark the graph here. We can right click, change series chart type like this. And here under project D, we'll choose the secondary axis. So let's click OK. First, we will double click the blue one here. And what we'll choose here is that we'll choose no fill like this. Then we will uh, double click the uh, orange uh, here and we will choose a solid fill. So we we'll go over here, so solid fill. And then we will choose a wide one here, so wide. And then we will choose like 20% uh, transparency, like this. So now we created the chart. We can see here that if we update here, say to like 64%, we can see that it, we indeed update our chart. Now we just need to put in the person and the project name. That's quite easy. So what we'll do is that we will click insert. We will uh, insert a text box here. First we will have the number and the number we will go up here. So then we will equal. The number will just be this 64% like this. Now we can um, we can change what we want, um, like the font and everything, so it matches this one. We'll uh, choose the impact font. So uh, let's scroll down to impact here, like this, sorry. We will need to do it again. Um, here, like impact. This. Then we can change the font size. I made the other ones 32. I think that suits uh, this project really good. So we can have this and we can mark it. We go to format again and shape fill. We'll have no fill. Shape outline, no outline. Now we just need the color. The color will be the orange color. So go to home and then we will click the orange color here. Now we can just move this thing up here. 
and we created our nice little chart. However, what we what we just miss is that we miss um, the, the text under. So we can have a project D under. So let's drag in another text box. So insert. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So here we go up here again. We will click the equal sign, and that will be project D. So whenever we update the project, update the project name, it will change automatically here in this chart. So now we got project D, and we can go up here and change the font again to impact. Um, up here like this and we will uh, choose the font size uh, to like 16 and actually we'll change this to Arial like this. We will uh, have a bold one as well and then we'll have an orange. So let's uh, put it in the middle here and now we essentially created our uh, pie progress chart beautifully and nice. So that's it. We can uh, move it around if we want it. We can move it up to the other things here. So now we're done. Isn't that beautiful? Have a good day. Bye-bye.